so much for staying with us here at Parliament Grounds where we have already seen the arrivals of various high-profile dignitaries who will be part of the ceremonial opening of the first session of the 13th National Assembly and right now we have seen that members of the judiciary and the judiciary's procession is making its way to the Parliament buildings as they await the address from His Excellency President Harainde Hichilama. Indeed, the judiciary will be very important in this new government because remember also we spoke about the fact that uh, the president uh, is uh, calling for independence of uh, the various arms of government and for the judiciary as well that uh, narrative uh, you know does touch on this that segment of uh, you know uh, the country's uh, government uh, but also one thing that uh, needs to be you know, brought to the fore when you talk about the judiciary uh, Chile is the issue of uh, trying to you know speed up cases uh, in, in, in the in courts isn't it we've heard of uh, people who uh, argue that look the uh, justice system is a bit slow in exhausting cases in, in, in court and 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 some say that in itself is a form of justice denied isn't it yes indeed Brian he has spoken quite to what the judiciary should provide for the Zambians and he also just did speak about the prison service the correctional service yeah. and how important this living standards of those in correctional facilities need to be upgraded he did actually speak to the head of the correctional services and said it is a place that people should come out better than before and should not come out even worse than they got in because of mm. the poor living standards there so a lot of issues around how Zambia's correctional services and judiciary will operate but most importantly the underlying point that the president makes is that they must work independently absolutely because in the in the past we did hear